Let's do an HDR analysis for Lords of the Fallen. It is very good. It looks very good. Most people are going to see this flawless working on their TV or their monitor because it just have a minor black level raise that we can fix using reshade or using the TV settings. And I'm going to share both options for you. So now when we use this HDR analysis tool, it is very easy to see. But even using my own eyes, it was very clear to see the black level raise because when we have a cutscene with black bars, that's supposed to be black. Okay, we're not talking about creative intent here. Like a black bar on a cutscene has to be perfectly black. Okay, there's no discussion about that. This is just wrong. If it's not perfectly black, something is wrong with it. And and it was very clear to see for me. So to get those per those black bars perfectly uh, black, what you would have to do if you have one of these LG OLEDs is use this option, uh, which is called Fine Tune Dark Areas option, which is available when you use VRR, G-Sync or FreeSync. And you need to give it two clicks, Fine Tune Dark Areas minus two. So you might think, man, <laughs> who is going to notice that? It is definitely noticeable. So do this. When you open a cutscene, do this. Get close to the screen. I'm talking about your nose on the screen. And then do this. I'm going to show you. You have, to, you have to cover your eyes because you don't want the brightness of the game to affect your eyes uh, sight. Okay? So you cover your eyes. You get close to the screen. And you, you come here to this fine tune dark areas option and you lower it from the default zero until you get perfect blacks. You will, you will clearly see that, that the black bars will become perfectly black on these OLEDs, okay? And you, so you, you're here, let's say you're here on zero. You lower it to minus one, you see that it goes down. Minus two, boom, perfect blacks. Minus three, still perfect, no difference. Perfect. Minus one, boom, you no longer have perfect black. So you can clearly see that difference. And it is something you can set up with your own eyes in case you have a different display that doesn't have this fine tune dark areas option, but it has black level control, at least on HDR. Okay, so that would be my first recommendation. And the reason is the second option that we have to fix this minor black level race is by using reshade. Okay. And the problem with that is we need every single FPS we can get on this game. We cannot afford <laughs> nothing. The perf we don't want to. We want to get as as much performance as we can. And the game is very demanding. I'm gonna do a separate video, probably a rant <laughs> about this crap. Okay. Uh, so yeah, TV settings, display settings is better because you don't get any performance hit. But I'm going to share with you how to how to fix it using reshade and this is the option that works for all TVs and monitors regardless because we would be fixing this minor black level race from the source okay so you can clearly see it here on the graph and on the numbers here this is the Lilium's HDR analysis tool you can clearly see here the black level race you see this line here that's very close to zero very close to zero but that's a problem it has to be zero. If it's not zero, you don't have perfect blacks, okay? So you, you see it here, minimum CLL 0 0.001471. So now this is very consistent. Everywhere you are on the game is the same black level race. This is just doesn't move at all. In the main menu, it's just rock solid black level race all the way, okay? And I don't know why. I don't understand why this happens, but it happens. So all you have to do, look at the description of the video, do a full guide where I explain how to install Reshade and how, how to download and install this Lilium's uh, shader. So you can use this. All you have to do is here, use this Lilium's HDR Black Floor Fix shader. Okay? You come down to where it says Enable Black Floor Lowering. And you're going to type in where it says old black point. You just type in this number. Look, this number you see here, minimum CLL 0 0.001471. You come here and you type that in. And that's it. That's how you fix the black level. So now, this doesn't work 
exactly like that in every single game sometimes you have to tweak this value a little bit more you have to look at the minimum CLL and even if you type in the same number you see here you might not get perfect blocks you might have to increase it a little bit or lower it a little bit and so you would have to check it out on, on a different game but in this game it works absolutely perfect it is very consistent and the other thing you have to look for is you see all this noise that we see on the graph is very noisy that's because of TAA temporal things you know DLSS all the temporal thing going on gives you noise you can see it on the picture it looks kind of noisy okay kind of terrible blurry okay we like at least what I want is raw pixels you know AK no anti-aliasing okay these games we are getting today you turn off TAA and it just looks broken okay that's not 4k it looks like sub 720p that's not how how it's supposed to look but that's a topic for another video all this noise you see here in in other games might give you a wrong reading here on the minimum CLL because it's noise and I might and I might it might be reading here incorrectly okay and you can see it here for example we don't have that issue with the black level race and, and this game that you know it's giving you like a wrong reading it is very clear it's giving you a right reading you see it here on the line so the game information is right here where the line is so we can clearly fix that black level race but when you look at the highlights look at all this shakiness here you see how the highlights are going crazy you know the max CLL going up to a thousand and even 2200 nits so look so this is just it goes crazy sometimes let me see if I can catch the 2200 you see, it's like jumping around, up and down. These are just rounding errors, okay? It's just noise. <laughs> it's just it's just noise that, that we get because of this anti-aliasing. But don't worry about that. Basically, in-game, set up the pick, the pick brightness slider depending on your display. So on my LG C1, all I have to do is to set this up to 800. 808. It doesn't let me select 800. It's not, it's not a big deal. You get 800. It's okay for HGIG. So HGIG is my recommendation. The game is bright enough. You don't you don't feel like you have to use dynamic tone mapping. It looks very good. So that's it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I think it looks very good. It looks very good. You fix that minor black level race um, and you're done. My recommendation is to use the TV settings so you don't get any performance hit. But if you are not using VRR, uh, the other option is, let's say you're, you want to use black frame insertion like I will, and I probably, I will probably do, make a video about that uh, when I, uh, after I do the performance video. Um, I might make a video, you give you my recommendations for OLED Motion Pro High on this game with native HDR. So if you are not using uh, VRR, you, you're not going to have this option available, this fine tune dark areas option. And the problem is, if you use this as screen brightness or black level, and you lower it, you are lowering it too much, okay? Because this screen brightness, if you lower it to 49, yes, you fix the black level race, but this screen brightness 49 is like fine-tuned dark areas minus five, okay? So you're lowering it more than what you should, and you're crushing details then, okay? So I would not recommend to do that. And also, you're affecting the entire grayscale too. So you're affecting the mid-tones and everything. So I would not recommend this. Um, I would just use reshape. I would use reshape for all emotion pro to fix the black level instead. Uh, but I will cover that um, you know after I talk about the performance video and I will also try the major paint the cactus mod. Uh, but in this case, I think I'm gonna use the native HDR because here's the thing. with the native HDR you can lower the brightness of the UI, which is very nice. And I don't like to have the UI popping, <laughs> okay? I, it, it's not because of burning. I don't care. It's, it's not going to burn because of, I play the game for you know one or two hours. It's, it's not a problem. But the problem is I, I don't like it. Like Especially on a game like this where you are on the darkness and then the UI is popping ferociously, <laughs> okay? Like 800 nits. I, I don't like that about the, the, you know, the auto HDR tricks that I've shared with you before. And that's what I would much rather use than native HDR. Um, so yeah, 
Let me know your thoughts and opinions. This is what I see. It is very clear. Like I have no doubts about it because this black level race is everywhere. It's exactly the same everywhere. It doesn't change. It's like 0 0.001471 and you see that it just doesn't move. And especially I am very confident in this because you, I, I was able to see it with my own eyes with the black bars on the game. So I mean that's like clear that that has to be black you cannot have black bars gray okay that's, that's it's just wrong no no there's no creator's intent nobody can argue with that black bars have to be black and if they are not black something is wrong with it with it with the source okay with the game so something is wrong <laughs> with the game basically and you have to fix that and it is important to fix that because you are basically losing contrast a little bit, but you're losing contrast. And contrast is the most important attribute of picture quality. HDTV test, okay? So you don't wanna lose contrast. Even if you have an LCD screen, even if your display doesn't have perfect blacks, if you raise the black level, you're getting worse contrast. You don't want that under any cir circumstances. So that needs to be fixed. You can fix it with reshade. Or you can try to fix it with a, with your own TV settings. Check out the black bars on the game. The thing is, your TV or your display might not have the fine tuning to just fix that. And you might be crushing details to fix that. So reshade on the PC would be the best options. Now, keep in mind, this is PC. On the consoles, it might be slightly different. Who knows? Check out the gaming tech video. Uh, he analyzed the... Uh, the console versions okay so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions and if you have any questions